What's up guys, on today's video we are checking out my 2021 college desk setup. For you guys who don't know me, my name is Drake and as a journalism major at ASU who has to write articles, edit photos, and create videos every night, having a desk that can maximize my productivity while doing these sort of tasks is very important to me. Because I just moved into this dorm, not everything is set up as I had it last year in my old dorm. And as I go through the semester, some things might change, but I am pretty comfortable with it so far. So starting off with my desk, this desk is provided by my university in my dorm. This is a plain 42 inch by 24 inch desk and nothing much else to it. The most important thing on my desk would obviously be my laptop. This is the 2019 MacBook Pro with uh, 1.4 gigahertz Intel Core i5. It also has 16 gigabytes of RAM and two USB-C ports. This laptop has gotten me through two years of video editing and heavy photo editing. However, when I do edit videos, I try to edit at one fourth or one half graphics to keep it running smoothly. For everyday college work, this laptop has performed exceptionally well without ever having crashed either. I can watch YouTube, Netflix, and listen to music while writing articles, basically any type of schoolwork with a small enough 13 inch frame that I can take anywhere unlike the 16 inch MacBook. So my monitor is a Dell UltraSharp 2720Q. It has a 27 inch 4K display with USB-C connection that will charge my laptop while it's plugged in. Of course there are more expensive options, but this was the most bang for your buck option that still has 4K, USB-C connection, good colors for photo and video editing, and doesn't take up that much space compared to larger monitors. What's holding my monitor and laptop is a Wally LCD monitor stand. I like it because it stays hidden behind my monitor and it also clears up some space underneath my laptop. Also, it makes grabbing my laptop really easy when I go to class. The keyboard I use is a Keychron Key 2. This keyboard makes me feel like an old school typewriter journalist sort of person because... Plus, it also lights up, which is really helpful for when I edit at night and it also just looks really cool. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm just starting out with YouTube and doing those things would be really helpful for me. Also, the links to all of these products are going to be in the description below. So another important part of my desk is my mouse. This is the Logitech MX Master 3. Design-wise, it matches the rest of my setup perfectly while also being ergonomic. And it's really functional with a side scroll wheel and a button where I can click with my thumb. I also have a MIDI keyboard on my desk, which is more of a design piece now because I haven't really had the time to be mixing and creating music like that. It does light up though, which is why I keep it on my desk. Even though I'm not mixing music, I still do a lot of sound design for my videos. So the headphones I use are the DT770 Pro 80 Ohm Edition. Now these don't give the best audio like Bose or Beats headphones do, but this is because the sound that is coming out of these is flat and unaltered from any equalizers. This is ideal for video editors who need to know what the original audio files sound like. The headphones sit on a Saitechi headphone stand, which I like because it gives me three extra USB-C ports. The lamp on my desk is called the Skewer Up Lamp from Ikea. It's black, sleek, and matches basically everything else that's on my desk. The bulb I use for the lamp though is the Accent B7C from Aperture. This light is kind of expensive, coming in at $70. However, I think it is worth it because of its capabilities. First off, unlike consumer LED smart bulbs like Philips Hue bulbs, the B7C features dimming and brightening that remains completely flicker-free up to at least 1000 frames per second. Furthermore, the light can match any color on the RGB spectrum, which adds a pop of color to my room. All I have to do is go to the app and set what color I want. Now for storage, I use the IKEA Niza Force utility cart. Having wheels makes it really easy to move around, and there's enough space on it to store all my school books and other random things. And that is my 2021 back to school desk setup. I hope you guys got something out of why I use the products I use. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed as well. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to you. But yeah, see you guys in the next video.